You don't have to pay 5k for a good vulnerability scanner. Whereas many beginner cybersecurity professionals use nuclei and other free scanners as a means to an end, more seasoned security experts use them strategically and on point. As for myself, I love both automation and manual analysis. However, relying on only one of these can be detrimental to productivity and efficiency, despite many researchers claiming to be only using automation or only using manual analysis. There is sensical use for these methods in conjunction and not in exclusivity. Also, for any physical and virtual asset connected to the internet, there are potential dozens, if not hundreds of vulnerabilities that could be successfully deployed against it. Using automation to find the needle in the proverbial haystack and then going manually against it uh, can be very lucrative. Of course, you can pay for the expensive $5,000 scanners, which can be efficient and not so much, as in they can lead to false positives a lot of the times. Or you can focus your automation on free ones such as Nuclei, Nmap and others. Nuclei and its templates uh, seem to be very popular among uh, researchers these days. And we seem to have forgotten the plain old powerful and ultra versatile Nmap. Nmap comes pre-installed in Kali and Parrot OS, if I'm not mistaken. And you can easily install it on your custom distribution with uh, as little as uh, apt-get install Nmap. You can also deploy it on Windows. Uh, you've got installation guidelines uh, on its official website, nmap.org. When it comes to vulnerability scanning with Nmap, there have been many researchers to wrap scripts around its uh, scripting engine NSC. And in my view, two of the most notable ones are Volners and Volscan. To be honest, I really like Volscan as it takes uh, CVE information from multiple databases, but I will not discuss it here because I think it's not so well maintained as a repository. Nevertheless, if you want to use it, there's a link in the description for how to do so. The other one, Volners, is more frequently updated. It's based on the Volners.com API and it almost works out of the box, uh, meaning that it's already built into Nmap, and the only thing you'd have to do is, uh, once you have Nmap installed, of course, uh, run Nmap script update DB. Then you can deploy it against the target that you're testing, with permission, of course, uh, using the minus SV script vulners uh, and the target. I think the minus SV is a mandatory argument because it's used by vulners to identify the potentially vulnerable version of the software the target is running on. Think of it like this. Nmap-SV identifies the open ports and uh, it makes a hard guess on the version. You can be more precise using additional arguments. And then minus minus script vulners runs the identified version of the software against its database to see if it finds a match. Now, if for some weird reason you are not able to set up Nmap, Volscan or Volners on your machine, there are links to their official documentation below so you can figure it uh, out yourself. This video is not meant to be a hand-holding tutorial and there is a very inherent pleasure in finding things out as Richard Feynman, the esteemed Nobel Prize winner physicist, said it decades ago. Another thing that I want to point out is that you can use both Volscan and Volners with Nmap at the same time and with the versatility of Nmap you can deploy it against multiple targets at once. Nullbyte posted lengthy video and written tutorials on their channel and website. Again, links below. Nuclei can be productive and effective, but in my view, Nmap is uh, synonymous with ethical hacking and pen testing. You cannot think of pen testing without considering the versatile Nmap. It's like a return to the very fundamentals.